we got them filled in. Back to zoom up here. There we go. That light really gives it kind of a bad glare, but we're looking pretty good. So that's where we're at for now. I'm going to hit this with some 400, but that's how you want your edges to look, real fuzzy like that, especially like that one up there. Once I get to the 400, that'll get even thinner yet. So we're going to go with that, and I'll catch you. Guys, uh, we're getting this thing bagged up. I've already back masked my jam area. All along here, I am going to clear this whole little three-inch wide strip all the way down. It's got the rubber pulled back on the... Uh, windshield so we're ready to go here as far as uh, getting the plastic on the car I just ran out of two inch tape it seemed to be a habitual waster of two inch tape I don't, don't know why other than I use it for everything can't imagine so basically what we're going to do here is we are going to cut out all our areas that we're going to paint, and then we'll tape everything else down. Try and get as much air out of this as possible. Just take the razor blade and real lightly go around where you need to uh, mask off. Cut that plastic out. This is direct spray plastic, so paint right over it and for the most part the only thing that's going to get sprayed on any of it is going to be uh, clear. So I'm going to start getting this taped up. But I don't know what I did with my roll masking tape. It's probably under the plastic on the car with mine up. guys rolling for this but I mean this took me like 45 minutes to do this so that's just too long for a video. I really wish I hadn't run out of two inch tape. That really sucks. So we'll go down and use three quarter inch tape on this. I may have to double tape some of it. So be it. I'm over it already. I got like three more rolls of three quarter left in the cabinet. I just want to keep moving on this. I'm not going to run up to the store and get more tape. Uh, some guys will paper around their areas and then plastic the car. You can do that. just seems like a waste of paper to me. Uh, I'll do it sometimes. If I'm going to primer something that's going to button a joint uh, adjacent panel, I will paper. That way I can put another sheet of paper over it as primer. Sometimes it'll flake off on you. I don't really get too much problem with it, but I don't need any problems, so let's not provoke fate. So I need to cut out along my doors first and then I'll cut the top piece off. That way I've got some tension on it so, it's, so it doesn't fall off on the floor. And as long as you have a new fresh razor blade. You don't have too much worry about this stuff uh, cutting through to you, cut through your tape. You just don't press very hard. This plastic cuts so easy. Oh, 
one thing I wouldn't recommend using because I used to use it is uh, like this queen plastic. Um, first of all, paint doesn't stick to it. This stuff is treated so paint primer and clear will stick to it as long as you put the proper side out. It's I don't care what brand you buy, I believe they're all marked. And I'll say paint this side. The, problem, the big problem with the Visqueen is um, not only does paint not stick to it, uh, tape doesn't like to stick to it either. Duct tape will stick to it, but duct tape isn't too uh, paint friendly. Paint doesn't like to stick to that either. Whereas paint will actually stick to uh, this plastic. Or, I'm sorry, the tape will actually stick real well to this plastic. Tape and cut, tape and cut, tape and cut. I've got a piece of masking tape up here that I'm running my razor blade on top of. I'm not doing this on the bare car. So we'll go around and get all this tacked down. Make sure all my seams are nice and taped. This is the 
first time I've ever done one this way as far as clearing this whole top panel that's attached to the sail panel. I usually sell and melt them, but I think I explained before. I'm a little gun shy about doing that on this one. I've already saw it melted at once. And I may or may not do two passes of clear over the top of this. I may just do one good one. We'll see how I feel. We'll see how it goes. Oh, I wish I had my two inch tape. This is probably getting kind of long, so I'll catch you in a little bit. Yeah, I love it. Oh, yeah. She is bagged up. I just got to go around and uh, do a final wipe on it. Uh, I still have to scuff this A pillar up in through here and uh, get that taken care of. Double check my edges, wipe it off. It'll be base coat time. So I'm going to take a break. I'm going to have some lunch and then I'll come back and uh, hook up with you guys in a little bit.